Uh, welcome to the TechFuel Solutions Private Limited. So today, let us see how you can install the Timeout Tools in Windows version. So this is the Timeout Tools 2020-21 setup. Uh, so it is a Windows 64-bit. Right-click on this, or you can double-click on this. And if you click on Open, so automatically the installation process will start. So you can click on yes, uh, which we have seen on the screen. If you click on yes, automatically uh, unpacking of temporary files will be uh, taken place and the installation process will continue. Yeah, so this is the installation window we get from the mentor here. So first click on the install products. So you can see here, click on install products. So automatically the path will be taken place, uh, the target location. If you want to change this target location, you can change by browsing it. So otherwise by default, you can keep this. So next, next, agree and click on install. So automatically the installation process will begin and it goes up.
uh, installation has been completed and uh, it's running post installation scripts here. So the process of this installation will take place uh, from two minutes to 10 minutes, depending upon the system speed. And moreover, when you are installing the standard tools, uh, 2021 64 bit version, make sure that it is Windows 10. So below Windows 10, uh, system will not support. Even though the software gets installed, the system will not support. Yeah, and now uh, it is asking that would you like to create desktop shortcuts if you want to have desktop short shortcuts you can click on yes otherwise no so i wanted to have desktop shortcuts that is uh, shortcuts of tanner on my desktop so i'm clicking yes So now it is showing installation completed. So therefore uh, click done. So once uh, you click, uh, if you press done, you get again to this window here. So far we have installed the install products only. So that means we have installed the Tanner software. So next you try to install the licensing software. Okay, so click on the install licensing and click on next. So automatically uh, the path will be taken. Uh, where the licensing location will be done so otherwise you can browse and you can set up so click on next so it will ask licensing uh, software installation complete so uh, the licensing software installation has been completed. So would we like to configure licensing? Yes. So now we are going to configure the license here. So here there are two types of uh, three types of licensing. First one is import license file. Second one is point to license server. And third one is uh, local server administration. Okay. Suppose uh, if you are installing your uh, machine as a server if it is a server system so you have to click on this import license okay so if you are installing the software in the client and configuring it uh, for the license you click on point to license server so suppose if you have single license and you are uh, using it as local server so you can click on this so so in order to uh, go for point to license server that is i am installing my software as a client here for suppose uh, click on this whenever you are installing it as client so point to server license server and click on next so now it will be asking you okay so here what you have to uh, type is 1717 at the rate of you can see here 1717 at the rate of uh, your host name of your server okay host name of your server or ip address and you can uh, click on next so automatically what happens is that uh, the license will be uh, installed from the server so for example uh, i'm typing it as i don't have any server here so just for the example sake i am typing so 1717 at the rate of lsa server pc and if you click on next so automatically uh the licenses will be set up like this okay so if there is a valid uh licensing here uh, from your server so automatically the license will be up in your client now so this is how you can see so again these are the licensing things for example if you want to go for the server so server uh, license installation so you can click on import license file and next so here, uh, wherever you are keeping your license file, okay, wherever you are keeping your license file, uh, browse that path and click on next. So automatically, uh, everything will be done. Server configuration will be done automatically. So before you keep the license,